Welcome back and welcome back to Dogecast. I hope everyone is doing well today. I wanted to go into an exclusive interview that Billy Marcus just had with Bazinga. And this is Billy Marcus, the co-creator of Dogecoin, way back in, I believe, 2013. And he's talking about one of the biggest things that happened to Dogecoin over the summer, which is the formation of the Dogecoin Foundation, which provides a lot of protection to Dogecoin and Dogecoin's new board advisors. And so he's talking about his thoughts on this, the future of dogecoin where he sees it at so it's really exciting stuff i want to share with you the most interesting answers he gave then we'll take a look at what dogecoin is doing today and then give some future predictions so let's get into it Now, the Dogecoin Foundation, including its new board of advisors, was officially formed on August 16th. And when Billy Marcus, co-creator of Dogecoin, was asked about this, this is what he said. I'm going to read it off to you here. He said, I think pretty much every mature open source project, Linux, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., has some kind of foundation to protect and support development. I was very glad to hear that there was renewed interest in reviving the foundation. So basically, he's saying this is really good. I mean, especially because he says every mature open sourced project. And he's saying that Dogecoin has now become mature. And this is what we've been saying for the longest time. And many other good Doge enthusiasts on YouTube have been saying the same thing. Dogecoin has now matured. It is not the same coin it was a year ago or two years ago and even news sources media places are now saying the dogecoin is no longer a joke they're actually saying the former meme cryptocurrency the former joke cryptocurrency now hopefully they drop joke and meme maybe well maybe not meme it is kind of a meme and it's a lot of fun but it's not a joke anymore and it's a matured cryptocurrency a matured open source and that's what billy marcus is saying about the new foundation and the new board of advisors then billy marcus was asked about his role on the advisor Board. And this is what he said. For me, I've more or less been keeping a pulse on the general Dogecoin community and have many conversations with community members so I can bring that knowledge to the foundation. He said he wants to ensure that the community voices are heard. So on the advisory board, it seems like whenever they kind of meet up and they talk through things, he's going to want to say, well, this is what the Dogecoin community is looking for. He wants to keep a pulse on those who are into, interested in investing in and using Dogecoin really want and are really all about so that he can introduce that information to the board. Then Billy Marcus was asked about the new members on the board of advisors. And this is what was said. He was excited when he found out that Burke Hall and Buterin would be on the advisory board. And then Billy Marcus said, quote unquote, Vitalik is, of course, a crypto genius. Vitalik Buterin, one of the co-creators and main individuals, a part of Ethereum, which is the number two cryptocurrency and, and could possibly overtake Bitcoin at some point in the future. So he says he's a crypto genius. Now he's a part of the advisory board for Dogecoin. And Elon Musk, represented by Jared, is a visionary. So their input is of high value. Now, I love the fact that Billy Marcus said Elon is a visionary. He didn't actually say Jared Burkhall. He said Elon. Now, I find that interesting because Jared Burkhall is basically representing Elon. So Elon's not going to be able to like meet up on these advisory boards with Dogecoin, but he's sending his guy to do it for him. So it is really Elon. So if Elon wants anything to occur with Dogecoin, or says, listen, we want to incorporate Dogecoin into Starlink. We want to, we want Dogecoin's transaction rates to be this or transaction fees to be this. This is how we think we can utilize our supercomputers with Dogecoin. This is what we we this is the pulse we have on the future of technology. He is going to tell that to Jared Burkle, and Jared Burkle is going to represent Dogecoin as a board of advisor. And Billy Marcus, co-creator of Dogecoin, is saying here that Vitalik is a crypto genius and Elon is a visionary, and their input is of high value. So now you have Billy Marcus is bringing the pulse of the Dogecoin community. You have Vitalik Buterin bringing the genius and understanding of cryptocurrencies. And you have Elon Musk, represented by Jaron Burkhall, bringing the visionary, the technology, and the future aspect of the direction to go in on this board. This is a star-studded board that Dogecoin now has, and its foundation showing that it is now a matured, open-source 
community, all amazing things. And then finally, he was asked about how the foundation is going to protect the Dogecoin trademark in general, because Dogecoin, yes, it did start off as a meme and technically a joke of cryptocurrencies. But now we're just seeing copycats after copycats and individuals who really have no ethics when it comes to cryptocurrencies and what they're doing, you know, forming baby Elon Musk Doge, baby Doge, baby, baby Doge, little toddler, Doge, you know, just crazy little things here and there. And they're saying, well, now that you're now that you've had billions of dollars worth of transactions in Dogecoin and you're a matured open source community with a serious advisory board, how are you now going to protect Dogecoin and its trademark against all of all of this other craziness that's starting to ensue. And he said, I think the foundation is most concerned with trademark trolling. Trolling referring to the practice of registering the trademark without the intent of actually using it. Dogecoin has been established since 2013 and has had millions of transactions on its network and is worth billions. Anything new trying to claim the trademark of Dogecoin is doing so in bad faith. And so he's saying, not only are we going to have the pulse in the community, not only do we have the genius of understanding cryptocurrency and the visionary aspect of Elon Musk into the future, but we are actually going to work rigorously to protect Dogecoin, its trademark, and what it is. I mean, this is really important stuff for Dogecoin moving into the future. Before I get into the Dogecoin chart, I actually thought that this article was kind of cool. Here's how many athletes are now getting paid in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So they listed four. I'm not sure if there's any more than this, but professional players in the National Football League now accept cryptocurrency. So you have Russell Okung of the Carolina Panthers, who is receiving half of his $13 million salary in Bitcoin. Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars receiving a crypto signing bonus. We have Sean Culkin of the Kansas City Chiefs, who's receiving... Uh, will be converting his entire 920,000 salary into Bitcoin. And Saquon Barkley of the New York Giants will take 100% of his endorsement money in Bitcoin. It does here say that there are no MLB or NBA players receiving compensation cryptocurrency, but MLB's Oakland Athletics alongside NBA Sacramento Kings and Dallas Mavericks accept Bitcoin for tickets. And they also accept Dogecoin for tickets as well. At least the Dallas Mavericks do for sure. And I believe that there's an NHL team that does it as well. I mean, I wasn't the investigative reporter here, but they should have put Dogecoin there as well. But the important thing here is that cryptocurrencies, although a lot of this is Bitcoin, it is showing that these are very legitimate. People understand the seriousness of it. And that the fact of the matter is, is their, their money, their hard-earned money may in fact be safer in these cryptocurrencies than in US dollars, especially with a lot of the inflationary worries coming and looming in the future. So let's take a look at the Dogecoin chart for today. We see Dogecoin is at 29 cents. It's been kind of going down to hitting that 28 cent mark, then coming back up and it's finding a floor there at the 28 cent mark. It's gone as low as 27 and change a couple of times. And earlier in the week, it did that as well. And so it's kind of dipping up and down, sticking around 29 cents, but really not a problem. If we go out to the month area, you know, it clearly Dogecoin's done well. It's up 50% on the month. It's definitely horizontal off. Now, the, the reason being, why, why, well, why isn't Dogecoin going to 33, 34, 35, 36 cents? The thing is, when Dogecoin hit that major bump right here around August 14th, 15th, and 16th, and this was on the news of Mark Cuban saying that he believed Dogecoin was the best uh, situated digital currency for the masses to be used as a digital transaction system. And then Elon Musk piggybacked off that and said, I've been saying that for a while. Dogecoin rose dramatically. I mean, there was investments uh, of probably upwards of $5 billion or so of new investment into Dogecoin at that point, and it skyrocketed off. Now, Dogecoin probably should have drawn back to around 26 cents. And this is what I was saying. I think I might've said it here on the channel, or maybe I would have said it to the elite members. I'm not really sure where I said it, but Dogecoin should have drawn back to 26 cents, but it didn't because there was so much excitement into Dogecoin and it kept staying pumped up. But what we're seeing now is Dogecoin trying to settle into where it should be. Where should it sort of horizontal off and then begin its line of inclination? And it seems like Dogecoin wants to settle off in the 28, 29 cent area and then I believe begin its upward climb once again until it settles off at another location, which is going to be a little higher, maybe 34, 35 cents. This this is very good, very healthy stuff. You just need Dogecoin to just settle into that place where it wants to be. And so on the day today, not too much movement. It's up about 0.4%. Uh, nothing crazy going on. We're just trying to settle out these markets, consolidate correctly where it's supposed to be. If you feel like you want to be an investor, you know, not a bad time to invest. Dogecoin's bottom, you know, if 
things went crazy, Dogecoin could bottom out at around 24, 25 cents. I cannot believe that it would go lower than that. It's not, that's not the lowest I think it could possibly go, but if it went lower than 24, 25 cents, it would just be some crazy news would have to come out for that to happen. So if you're an investor in Dogecoin, this might be a good time to invest, especially if you're a long time holder. If you see it hit the 28 cent mark or the 27 cent mark, that might be the time to put in the little extra funds if you have. However, if you've already put in what you can, you know, this is, this is just a, sort of ho-hum day, ho-hum week at this point, and you're just waiting for the renewed interest and investment to go back into Dogecoin, especially with all the excitement of everything that Dogecoin has going on with it and all the future news that's going to be coming out as well. So thank you for coming along with me. I hope you guys are all doing well again. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Consider becoming a member if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join that. As always, I will catch you next time.